Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cyboss. In the face of adversity, you can get things done that sometimes you think you can't get done in normal market circumstances. What does theoretical physics have to say about money? So here we are at our second digital edition of Cybus. It has actually really impressed me how the industry as a whole has not only maintained business as usual, but has also got great momentum on its own transformation. And if anything, with a much bigger sense of purpose and responsibility. Those financial institutions that will survive are those that adapt most quickly. It is even more important that the social purpose of an organization is crystal clear and well articulated in order to get you through difficult situations. That's why we must relentlessly modernize our regulated financial system through public-private partnerships and through communities that bring our industry together, such as SWIFT. Uh, they must display the same confidence, security, resilience, so that's uh, absolutely non-negotiable for us. Well, one of the risks is definitely cyber. You know, if we have more things online, if more things are digital, then if somebody's able to break through. Biodiversity is even more difficult than climate. Sustainability is not just an idea. How do we steer our customers uh, to borrow in order to make themselves greener? In my experience uh, with climate uh, and anything related, candidly, to engineering, um, when China says it's going to do something, it, it has mapped out how it's going to do it and intends to uh, execute it. Let us take this conference as an opportunity to move forward, to forge a brighter future, recharge finance with technology, and jointly promote the recovery of the global economy. We are optimistic that in 2022 we will come together again in a physical cybos in Amsterdam. <laughs>